Well, for more on Burundi, I'm joined by Elsa Buchanan, who's a journalist working on the Africa desk of the International Business Times. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. And of course, you've been across Burundi. You wrote a very interesting article a couple of days ago. You've been talking to some of the families and the lawyer representing the families that actually took the Burundi government to um, the International criminal court. Um, why do you think Burundi is making this move right now, leaving the ICC, dropping out of the human, UN human rights discussions, basically? Yeah. Um, so it, it's all happened quite, uh, quite quickly. Um, first of all, um, a few weeks ago, we had the UN um, Special Investigation Report mm. um, that um, basically portrayed a very bleak um, kind of an image of, of Burundi today, uh, a very repressive government, mm. um, you know, a government that's closing itself more and more away from, from the actual world. And the human rights violations that it found um, basically could amount to, hum um, you know, crimes against humanity. Mm. Um, and for many, uh, this is um, kind of sent a wave of panic you know, with their leaders in Bujumbura, and this may be a reason why they're pulling out the... Yes, ICC that's today. a good point. But will Burundi's withdrawal from the ICC be the end of their obligation under the Rome Statute? Because they're still bound to cooperate with the court, aren't they? So they are. Um, now they have officially um, announced they will be withdrawing. Um, they have to pass or the, their parliament has to approve um, a revision of their uh, ratification law, um, which was signed in 2004. Once this is done, the president has to uh, officially um, ask the UN General um, Secretary for the authorization to leave. Mm. Once, and only once this is done, um, Burundi is still a, a binding uh, for another year. And all the ongoing investigations cannot be hot. Right. Yeah. So, but do you think that this may just be a posture on the part of Burundi? I mean, do you believe, or do you believe they'll take it to its logical conclusion? Technically, it doesn't really make any legal sense for them to do it right now. Mm. Um, you know, they are still, as you said yourself, um, legally binding, um, and they, they will have to cooperate with any international body regarding investigations into human rights violations. Um, and the ICC has jurisdiction over any crime committed in the country from the 1st of December 2004. Very, very briefly, it's not the first time that an African country has said it's leaving the ICC. Kenya did it not too long ago. The African Union has made its dissatisfaction quite clear. Is Burundi on the thin edge of the wedge that could lead to a mass African exodus? exodus? So, yeah, uh, the, the reasons behind that, um, very briefly, many African nations, including uh, the African Union, um, are saying that the criminal court, uh, the world court, is mm. um, biased against Africa. Um, most of the cases um, and the prosecutions uh, were actually handed down to Africans and Africans only. Absolutely. And um, it does seem that, you know, this kind of, um, I would say, conspiracy, um, you know, white, white supremacy, um, mm. conspiracy theory uh, with rhetoric is growing and growing. Um, the United Nations has been asked to um, maybe look into um, ways of dealing with this. Um, maybe setting out conditions right. for them to stay in. Okay. Elsa Buchanan from International Business Times, thank you very much indeed.